all right boys welcome back to the channel and just want to get something out of the way some of you are wondering if I sold the G37 because on my Instagram you guys saw the 240SX in here and the answer to that is that no I didn't sell the G37 I still have it it's currently being worked on so yeah guys that being said I still have the G37 uh, it's just getting fixed uh, on what happened with the transmission and the clutch. We have a video from Rudy. He's going to explain to you guys what really happened. Installation error, over torquing bolts. We have a bearing that needs to be upgraded. On my end, I didn't know that was needed once you get the C-Mac. Please watch this video, it's coming from Rudy. Huge shout out to Rudy for taking care of the car. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's go watch this video. So real quick, just making a real short update video just um, so for anybody that, you know, was wondering what's going on, wanted to be, get a little bit of an explanation, um, as to what was going on with the, uh, George's car here. Um, so we had a few concerns, um, oil leak with the oil cooler hoses, the oil pan, um, and then the main one was the inability to shift the car, um, into gear. So, um, we did remove the transmission. Upon removal, we did find a few little things. Um, the pressure plate, it looked like it was, um, well, there was a few pieces of hardware um, that were broken from the um, securing the uh, pressure plate down onto the flywheel. So I don't know if that was from over torquing or if, I don't know, maybe, I mean, they had to have been over torqued um, for them to stretch for the head of the bolts to cap off. So, um, anyhow, um, there was a couple of them that were off and it was causing the pressure plate, um, to give an even wear, um, onto the throwout bearing. Um, but the throwout bearing as well, um, it was, uh, the wrong throwout bearing used for the actual flywheel that was in there. So I guess when you get the, um, so when you get the Z-Speed kit, the C-Mac Delete, you have two style bearings. So uh, this one here is uh, the tall style bearing, okay? And then this is the one that came off the actual car. This is um, a regular size, regular height bearing. So the difference between these two is, um, the reason you would be using this one here is if you're using an aftermarket flywheel. So the OEM style flywheels, they're a dual mass flywheel, and the flywheel itself is a lot taller uh, than when you actually get a single um, flywheel plate. So that's gonna ultimately call for a thicker, or a taller, I should say, a taller bearing. Um, so when you install a kit with the wrong bearing, you'll get you'll get response it'll work uh, until the clutch wears in um, when the clutch starts to wear in that's where you're going to get the significance of the issue um, you won't have the clutch engaged properly and then eventually at all so that's what we had going on in this situation we we got the bearing in um, a few days ago i got the rest of the hardware in for the flop the pressure plate we did get that bolted up so right now I'm just gonna finish um, installing this onto the transmission. And then after I do so, I will be just cleaning up the bow housing a bit and then putting the transmission back up. So then as far as the, uh, the oil cooler lines, so these are the lines right here. Um, these are the ones that you would be getting with uh, a Mishimoto kit. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not really big on Mishimoto lines. I feel like it can be a bit cheap sometimes, but honestly with these kits is, it's um, hit or miss. So in this case, I'll be honest, it's not the actual lines that are damaged um, or well. So these are uh, the fittings, the ones that go on the each end of the um, of the uh, oil cooler adapter, the sandwich plate. So in this case, 
one of the fittings was over tightened that goes onto the sandwich plate. So essentially what ends up being, I don't remember if it was this one or the other one, but basically this elbow going onto the sandwich plate, it was severely over tightened. And so these are aluminum guys. So when you guys over tighten aluminum, eventually what you're gonna do is just strip out the threads. The threads aren't meant to withstand a whole lot of pressure. Um, AN fittings in general, they're not made for, um, you know, a super stupid amount of um, torque. So when you guys tighten these, just be mindful that, you know, too much is gonna, it could damage the fitting. Um, um, or the actual accessory that it's going on to. So um, just be mindful of that. So we replaced them with some, um, these are the steel braided, but it's also, um, it has like a cloth coating. So it's a bit more protective of the area where they're gonna be going into. Uh, these lines, whenever you do use steel braided, keep in mind that those can ultimately end up um, rubbing up against the surrounding areas. These are very abrasive. So if you guys end up putting that around something that's you know sensitive or can get damaged, I, I would just uh, keep in mind to maybe add some, uh, I don't know, maybe some kind of a barrier or that, um, that cloth coating for the, uh, the lines that, that also, um, reduces wear on the areas it's a lot safer to use so just insulate them properly make sure that it's not rubbing up against something it will eat at it pretty aggressively over time so keep that in mind so besides that oil pan resealed that was pretty basic that uh, bearing we're going to be throwing on here in a few minutes and then those lines they were they were not bad i'm not looking forward to putting all of these back on but hey it's gonna be a you know a little project it's boost for you you know more stuff more things to get out of the way and, you know service in general so anyhow that's a quick uh, update um hope uh that answers some questions for anybody have a good night guys Huge shout out to Rudy, he created a video for me. And um, like always guys, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll continue uh, giving you guys updates on the G37. And tomorrow we have Slamanav. Some of the um, Real Origin show team members are going to be there. And like always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys till the next one.